friends. It's me, Mrs. Smith. Sorry, adjusting the camera just a little bit. Um, we're going to focus on the section 12-3 in your math packet. Um, that's covering page 143 and page 144. So if you have it in front of you, that's fantastic. Um, if you want to watch this and do this afterwards, that's okay too. I am going to go over some of the examples. Now this section is talking about understanding the whole. Now remember the whole is the entire part of the fraction. Okay, and uh, the whole can be many, many different sizes. And in this case, they're giving you kind of little different fractional parts. And then you have to try to figure out what the whole is using that. So you can always find out the whole when you're given these little fractional parts. So I'm going to go over some examples of how to do this. And these kind of look similar to the examples that are given to you. They're not the exact same ones, um, but they're very similar. So let's take a look at the very first one. Let's scoot you forward. Okay, it's kind of like having you come down to the carpet. Okay, so take a look at this. This is two thirds. And if you notice, there are two pieces. Remember, the top part is the numerator. That's telling you how many parts there um, that you have there. And then the bottom, the three, is the denominator. And that's telling you how many parts in total, how many parts there are. Well, if you notice, one, two, do we have three parts? No. So that's kind of telling you that's how many parts there are. We don't have that many parts right now. That's what we're going to have to get. And you have to figure out the whole. Well, remember, and I know all of us have taught you this, one whole is equal to, and if you take a look at the denominator, the numerator and the denominator should match. If you have this many parts, um, that are colored or, you know, completed out of this many, then you have a whole. If the numerator and the denominator match, that's a complete set. That's a whole. So if you take a look at this right now, this is showing you that that's two thirds of the whole. The whole is not there yet. You have one third, one third, which equals two thirds. You need to draw your last part. Now remember holes, the little parts, they have to be equal sizes. So you have to draw one that is very similar. Now let's count how many pieces we have. One, two, three. Now you have your three thirds. Let's take a look below. Some of them look like lines. This is showing me one half. And if I think about what Mrs. Smith just said, the one equals, look at the denominator, two, you have to have the same number, two. So two out of two is the same as one whole. Well, right now I only have one piece of line. What do I have to do? You guessed it, I need to draw another line that is very similar to this size. So now I have my two lines. So this now equals the whole. This is one half. This is the other half. And you, we, we just learned this with area. Two halves equal a whole. All right. So let's take a look at the piece on the bottom. And if you notice, this is showing two six. Well, wait a second. I only noticed one section, only one box there. So what can you do to make this showing two six? Now I know it's not showing six, yes, but it's not even showing my two parts. So what am I gonna do to figure out how to make this into two sections? Yes, you have to split it, you have to partition it. So I'm gonna split this right about here. There's one six, there's one six. So now this is showing my two six. Well, remember the one whole, look at the denominator. I need to have six parts and all six parts needs to be there. Well, right now I only have two out of the six, so I need to draw some more parts. Let's see, one six, one six. Am I done? One, two, four. Not done yet. I need to make sure I have six parts. One, six, one, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I have my six parts. All right, so if you continue to work on your section, okay, number five and six on page 144 is very similar to what I just explained, okay? And number 10 and number 11. If you take a look at number seven, 
that is focusing on area, which is really nice because that's what the last packet was all about. And remember, area, you need to do what to figure out the area of a shape? What do you have to do? If you said length times width, you are correct. Length times width. And don't forget, it equals square units. So whatever the answer is, square units. And in this case, it does tell you what units are being used. Is it inches, feet, centimeters? Make sure you read it. And then number eight, number eight is just a basic word problem. Please make sure you use your clues to help figure out what operation you're using. Is it division? Is it multiplication? So see if you can figure that one out. Now, number nine, we call a HOTS question, a higher order thinking question. And I kind of wanted to go over an example with you. So I'm going to adjust you and move you over here, okay? And this is a question that's very similar to what you might see. And I'm going to go ahead and read this to you. Colin Harper saw a plan for three nights, and I had already circled this. It's kind of a little bit of a glare, but this says three nights of a garden, okay? They each drew a picture of the whole garden. So Colin Harper drew a picture of the whole garden. It kind of sounds like what we did over here, which is not... Correct. So which one of these is not correct? We're going to have to figure out, is it Cole or is it Harper? And then tell how you know. So let's take a look. So they gave me a nice little square of three nines. So I noticed this shows three nines. Well, this I got to remember in my head that this represents three nines. So if I do what I did in the previous one, especially the one down here, I have to partition this into how many pieces? Yes, three parts, one, and draw my two lines, one, two, three. So now I have my three ninths. So now this equals three ninths, because then look, this shows one ninth, this shows one ninth, and this shows one ninth, okay? So this shows now three ninths, one ninth plus one ninth plus one ninth equals three ninths. Now take a look at what Cole did. I noticed Cole took the whole squares just like this, and he went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Hmm, so that's what Cole did. And I noticed Harper took only 1, 2, 3. She only took 3 of the squares. So Cole took 9 of the squares, while Harper only took 3 of these squares. So who is correct here? Let's think about it. So let's say Cole, he took one of these squares and he partitioned. Remember, you got to partition each one into three nines. Now, before I do that, what does, what would one whole equal? Kind of like what we did here. I have three nines. What would the whole equal if I kept drawing? What would my one whole equal? Yeah, she should have said nine over nine. Okay, nine ninths is the same as one whole. So let's see, we have to take each of these little squares and split them into nines. And let's see if we got nine sections. Now let's go ahead and count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. They have twenty-seven over nine. Oh. Did Cole do this correctly? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Let's take Harper's. So wow, Harper already took her squares and she had split them like we were supposed to. So let's see. Let's see if she has nine parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So Harper has nine out of nine parts. So she already split these up. Whereas Cole, if you hadn't drawn those lines, it does look like he has the nine parts. But Cole took the entire square and put them there. So he was actually taking this square and picturing it this square as just being one ninth. He was thinking this square represented one ninth, 
when in reality, does it represent one ninth? No, it represents three ninths. So Cole did not do this correctly, okay? Because Holes was wrong, guys. He pictured each of these squares as being one unit fraction, one ninth, okay? He copied these when they really should have been three ninths, those sections, which would have ended up being 27 over nine. So Cole was not correct, okay? He pictured these three ninths part as being one ninth, okay? Hopefully you guys understand this, and if you have any questions, definitely reach out to us.